Hello everybody. This is Yoko's Anime Reactions and um, this is going to be my review for uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid episode 11. I'm cranking these out because I want to get them done. I want to be able to upload them so that way you guys can f enjoy them and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Because I've already got everything, you know, recorded and everything. I just have to edit the finale. And that's it. Other than that, all that's left to do is to upload them. So, I'm trying to get all the reviews done ahead of time. That way, I have something to upload, you know, for a couple weeks. Maybe. Actually, I'm going to have to do more than just Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid in order to do have enough for a couple weeks at the rate I go sometimes. Especially when I get close to finishing a show, I upload the rest of them. I try to get them all uploaded so that way you get like maybe four or five videos a day because of that. So, um... Episode 11 is the whole New Year thing where everybody's getting ready for the New Year and uh, Toru decides to go all out and making um, mochi from scratch instead of, I'm guessing, buying it from the store. And everybody, all their neighbors come by and give them stuff like oranges, uh... What else? Something, uh, uh, one neighbor gives them something and then another neighbor gives them oranges, the one with the green and yellow hair. He gives them oranges. I think it was a he. It, it's the first time I've ever seen that character. Anyway, yeah, she gives them mochi because I guess she made plenty. Um, and earlier they had done a raffle at the shopping district and they were trying to win, you know, a trip to a hot spring. They won something. It was a, a kotatsu table. And apparently those are supposed to be really warm. I wouldn't know, but if they're really, if it was as warm as they claimed to be... That would be the heater any day, to be honest. But sadly, I don't think you can get a Kotatsu table around here. <laughs> you don't even think you can get them on Amazon, I don't think. If you can, that would be crazy. But yeah, a Kotatsu table, if it's as warm as people think it, say it is, that would be nice. Um. Anyway, yeah, they're ch they're keeping warm under the Kotatsu table to the point where they get a little lazy. And not wanting to get up and do stuff. And later, Kana and Saikawa end up going to, you know, the New Year's Eve festival thingy, whatever the heck it was, in kimonos, and so does everybody else, and, uh, yeah, everybody has a good time, and apparently, uh, at their last convention, the winner won, uh, his co-worker, so her co-worker sold out, but sadly, Fafnir's second volume of the curse thing... It did not sell a single copy either. So both volumes did not get to sell, get sold at all. You would think that he would change his, um, his subject matter when the first volume didn't sell any. That's what I would have done to be completely honest. Because if nobody wants it, then why bother making it, you know? But... Yeah, poor guy didn't get to sell any of it. It's probably for the best anyway, because apparently those curses are real, from what Toru said, and we don't need anybody getting cursed in the real world. The real world. You get what I'm saying. We don't need anybody in that show getting cursed. So, yeah, it's probably best that nobody bought him anyway. Anyway, the new year comes, and, you know, everybody has a good time, and... Uh, to uh, Miss Koya, she actually gets a call from her mother, and we find out, at first when she called, I thought that something bad had happened. Thankfully, no, it's just her catching up with her to see what's going on. And thankfully things are okay. And she actually asked Toru, would you ever consider going back home, at least for a visit? And I'm guessing it's a no, because a figure flashes back, they do a flashback to a figure for a few seconds, and... It's her father, though at the time I didn't know it was her father. I know it is now because obviously I finished the show. And it's not good. Anyway, um, uh, we got two episodes left for the reviews. So here's hoping I can get these done and then I can, you know, get started on uh, Kamigami no Asabi as well on the reviews wise and start editing all the videos because I got a lot of videos to edit guys. I got a lot of videos for Kamigami no Asabi, Tokyo Ghoul, Prison School, 
Uh, two more videos from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Um, and I think that's it when it comes to videos to edit because I haven't worked on the other shows yet because I was trying to finish these. Because once I finish uh, Moggy and High School DxD Season 2, I will only have 14 shows to work on. And I know it's a lot, but it was already a lot anyway. So it's best that I finish these and then try and get uh, the other shows finished as well. And I've actually made a list. Which shows do I want to work on next after this? <coughs> I wrote down all the show. I uh, typed down all the shows that I have left to do and how many episodes are left before they're finished. And by finished, I mean either the season's done or until the next installment in the franchise, like for Dragon Ball, for example. Let's see, which ones am I close to finishing next besides Moggy and High School DxD? Uh, let's see. Helsing Ultimate, obviously, but I don't have to wait. Looks like the ones that are closest to being finished next are Fruits Basket and Oron. Okay. I can start working on those next. <coughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I enjoyed the show. It, I didn't get, to t I didn't talk near as much in this show as other shows, obviously. But I hope everybody has enjoyed the show so far, and hopefully by the time you guys see this one, I will be done with Moggy and High School DxD, obviously, and working on finishing the other two shows. Then I can start working on the other shows. Ay, a lot of shows to work on, guys. Anyway, I will see everybody next time.